I mean, it's 11 war score, and it costs 89. You know, wait, 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 wait. What if this is our time to move our... I, I think we need a Yugoslavian colony. I think it's time for us to move our way into Tripolitania. Assuming this is not too... 5.5? Yeah, we can afford that. Tripolitania is only 9. We're at 24.5. We're very, very close to uh, capping out here on Infamy. Mostly because I've tried to been integrating a lot of people into the country. But Japan, will you say yes to this offer? I, do, I just want Albania and Tripolitania. You will not accept this offer. You will now accept the offer. Well, thank you. We can now demobilize the armed forces. Bring our troops back home to Belgrade. And we'll need to kind of reorganize all this for sure. But there we go. Yugoslav Tripoli. This is what we've all been after. Okay. We can rename Albania. We can then organize Libya. But we can't incorporate you. All follow to Albania is a puppet of Yugoslavia. For all core provinces. Okay, five prestige. You're not a core of ours. What Albania provinces do we not own? Oh, we don't have this area. You're considered an Albanian core. Okay. Well, we might need to. We'll worry about that in the next war, okay? Keep you down south. We can commission more warships. I mean, we have a lot of money. So it's like, we could do that, open and subsidize all factories. Like, can we train any units in Tripoli? The answer is no. Yeah, bring civilization to Libya. Yes, we got Slavic Africa. This is what we've all been waiting for. So you're still missing a lot of artillery pieces, which are not being built because we don't have any canned food. But now that we're at peace, we'll, we'll cut military spending, let's say, in half. Oh, so where's there a bunch of unemployed craftsmen? Show empty states. There's nobody in, in Istria. Or Istra. But we don't have colonial incidents against France. Um, no. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not go to war with the French. Okay. Germany, do you want an alliance? You're negative 46? You know, that's not bad. That's not bad. Political considerations, plus 100. Infamy. Relations. If you just improve our relations and don't go to war for a bit. Also, China is now winning the war against Japan. Yeah, like, we're going to need to take this territory from the Ottomans. We want to actually incorporate Albania into cores. Spain wants an alliance. Do I want an alliance with Spain? I don't know, because that's gonna that's gonna get you to negative fifty. Also, we could just attack you again. You're cordial with the Austrians. But that's really about it. Nobody else. Ah, no, I, we want to save until we can get in the lines of Germany. For sure. How much our war infamy goes down? It goes by, down by uh, 0.1 a month. I mean, we're, we're still in a, we're still a secondary power. We only have like 150, 146 points, which is like really, really bad. Well, that's okay. You you can't win them all. You can go down to Sarajevo. Wait, just declare like war on fume. 
I don't really see a reason not to right now. Let's just move two roofs into the country. Like, I don't know... I thought this would at least go under their sphere or something like that, but apparently not. Okay, there's a small fuming army. I'll tell you right now, I'm not too concerned with that. The Dutch one alliance. No, we're, we're going full on uh, German strats. I don't know why all of a sudden people want to ally me. It's like, oh, now, now Yugoslavia, they own Albania. Now they're a power to be reckoned with. But Milton is actually not high enough to change any laws right now. Like, we could put the Liberals in the upper house, which would definitely allow me to pass a bunch of laws. But then our tax situation would be absolutely garbage and our industry would collapse. So we're, we're not going to want to do that. Is there anything we can do to lower infamy right now? I don't really believe so. Play the serfs. We're not at peace, fair enough. But you'll be done soon enough. Bring you back to Sarajevo. Reincorporate Fume into the country. Their little brief stint of independence did not last long. Which is the way that we like it. Go for machine guns. And then open and subsidize all factories. We're in storm 15. Like, who's ahead of us in terms of score? We got Spain, Brazil, Denmark, Portugal, uh, Belgium, and then... I was going to say all the great powers, but the, the Italians actually are not a great power. Huh. We got a constant belly against Hungary. They have 18 divisions. I wouldn't mind going to war with them. Oh, apparently we lost our... Did we not... I could have sworn I just said we had a constant belly, but you know, what do I know? What do I know? Switzerland wants an alliance? No, again, we're, we're going... I want Germany to be my friend. A negative 28. Too many alliances, negative 40. Is it because you have too many alliances? You're only with the, the British and the Italians. Which means, to be fair, those are some pretty good alliances for you. I won't... I won't uh... I'll, I will admit that. And you are still in the Russian sphere. Bulgaria likes us too much for us to do a full annexation of them. Yeah, and you're in the French sphere. They do now have cores on us. But I don't know how much that's really going to matter here. Form alliance. Negative 28. Keep on increasing relations. Now Sweden's asking for an alliance. I'm going to say no to that. I really have my heart set out on only one. Only one European power here. And that is uh, Germany. Negative 24. I mean, our infamy is going to slowly take down. Relations plus 28. You won't be able to exactly double that. Who would we not want as an ally? Again, we're allied with, with Romania and Greece. But again, like, being allies with the Germans would be pretty good. I just don't know, like, how does Japan... How have you not won your war against China yet? My, my, my guess is that they are unable to... Defender blockades, negative 19. Is all of Japan blockaded by the Chinese? That's actually, like, incredibly impressive. <laughs> How is, I guess Japan doesn't have, like, a navy. Like, what's going on over there? You probably want one cavalry division in here. But other than that, like, we should be good. We'll see if the Ottomans, after a while, want to attack us again. I mean, once our truce expires, truce expires in 93. Will Japan, or will the Ottomans attack us again, taking the, the back of the Japanese? They might. They might try to attack us.
Lation's opinion. Threats plus 20. Are you a great power? The Dutch are a great power. Right now, we're in the sphere of the Austrians. I would like to get an alliance with Germany and then go to war with the Austrians. For anything that's, like, really cheap. Not really. So we almost might be forced under the Austrian sphere, whether or not we like it. Actually, no, that they... I don't think they'll sphere us. What's going to happen is I think they're going to get up to 100 and then do nothing. The reason they're going to do that is because the Austrians have so many cores in our territory, typically they won't, um... Do you have too many alliances? You're not allowed two countries. You also got Liechtenstein and Samos. Also, it looks like Maritime Dominion has become independent. Good for them. What the fuck is this? What is... What is this? They've become a bourgeois dictatorship, Japan. The anarcho-liberals have seized control in, uh, in Japan. One of the worst looking borders in the United States I think I've ever seen in my entire life. What we actually do need is we actually need more soldiers as well. And now that, um... Now that Bosnia is pro properly incorporated into the country, we shouldn't have any actual problems there anymore. Do you see they're no longer, uh, got no flashpoint tension there at all? Oh, Japan. Wait, did we get the Dark Continent? The colonial negotiations. We actually did, but I don't think there's anything we could even colonize. Yeah, like, this interior, interior area here in, um, in Africa only gets colonized by... What do you call it? It only gets interior in colonized by event. No Denmark. So, I mean, if we can own a, a nice little Libya... They're negative one. Germany, you're so close to wanting to be my friend. Get on 96. Get our alliance up with Germany. Hello, Germany. Welcome. We used to be enemies. At one point, you... You almost ruined my campaign. But now, we are friends. We're friends united. 100. Yeah, again, I don't think they're ever going to put us in their sphere. Because the AI wants to take back their cores, even though it's never going to happen. So them being friendly is okay. It means that no matter what, we'll still probably have Austrian backing if anybody invades us, which is not the like the worst thing in the world. But Austria, excuse me, Austria is definitely like one of the sadder countries in the world right now. When is this? When is this war going to end? Or are they just going to be at 11% forever? Maybe. Chile wants to take La Paz, which is... What are we at war with? Wait, where are you taking? You want to take... Yeah, La Paz from Bolivia. Chile is going for a... Uh, the worst borders in South America. You know, good for them. Somebody's going to have to have, to have the worst borders, and it might as well be you. Do you want to take over this region here? Why? Like, why not attack Argentina? Why not, like, take here and here? That, that at least kind of makes some sense. And doesn't make m my eyes bleed. And once your truce with them expire... Your truce expires in 91. We'll see the Americans probably try to take the rest of their cores back. But again, their cores are only, like, here, here, and here. I don't know what the hell happened with the US. That made their cores look like that. I really got no clue. 
And I don't know if anybody else actually knows either. I don't think I'll take away this. Okay, excellent. You can build up some more units. Again, you're 191. You really need some more reinforcements. Oh, your army is hot garbage. We can probably go with one artillery, one cavalry for now at least. And put them into this army. We did get comp um, we got machine guns. Let's go for more research points. Should have done that about 20 years ago. In fact, we actually have two research techs that I have neglected because I am bad at this game. And our truce with you again, it ends in 93. So we got a few years left until we can maybe attack the Ottomans once again. Improve conscious a little bit. Milton C is still on the rise, but not as high as it used to be. Go for some free trade. And again, Bulgaria, it would be nice to incorporate Bulgaria into the country. By Bulgaria. And they have to be at peace. Our neighbor have no truth with us. And they need to be a puppet of ours. Or in our sphere of influence. But again, we're not... At 187 points, our, our chance of getting up to 600 to get to beat Italy and become a great power are very, very slim. So we're not even going to really consider that to be an actual option for us. Like, but just being a secondary power, getting up to 14th place is not, a, it's not the worst thing in the world, for sure. Like, how many troops do, do you guys have? You have 21, 22, and 5. But it looks like the French have actually managed to invade their way into Argentina. I don't know why France loves Chile so much. I mean, I guess they're in their sphere of influence. I mean, this is Jap or French influence, South America. We got the Dutch influence, British influence. The United States has really been uh, lacking when it comes to enforcing Monroe Doctrine. They got some nationalists rising up in in Austria. They have 20 divisions. Like, they should still be able to deal with this enough. There's also now an international crisis in Bohemia. Is it for Bohemia or for Czechoslovakia? Russia's back to you. You want to support the Austrians. You want to support Russia. And you want to support the Russians. I mean, we do want probably Bohemia to be independent. I mean, Russia right now, they're in fourth place militarily. You're now at war with the Italians. Why? The Libyan War. I mean... You're at war with uh, Manipur. I'm going to say no to that because I want to annex Libya. Italy, don't take my thunder, okay? That's my Libya. Stay out of it. Yeah, Italy's at war. That reason. Looks like the Dutch are back to you. You don't know who you want to support. You still want to support Russia. In Italy and the Germans, are you still allies? You are. If Italy ends up backing the Russians, we might see the Germans want to back Russia as well. It's like Germany. I feel like if if Austria Hungary collapses and you sphere Austria, you should be able to incorporate them. The Belgians want alliance. You know what, sure, Belgium, why not? Yugoslavia, we're, we're making our way in the, in, the, in the world state. And we're still waiting for our cavalry. You want some luxury clothes? He wants to be very fancy. You can see the Italians have now moved troops over here. I mean, we'll kind of ally ourselves with everybody just because we can. It looks like, like the Italians have gotten kicked out of the Ottoman Empire. Problem here is that this is now a Russian spheerling. You want alliance with us? Sure, why not? Everybody wants to ally themselves with Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia, powerhouse of Europe. Got Jackman rebels. Austria's got 21 stacked. They're gonna come over here, probably kill the Jackman rebels. Would be my guess. 
But now it's an independent Bohemia. You see Jackman Rebels, they've already taken Budapest. Like, this is definitely one of the sadder looking Austro Hungries I think anybody's ever seen in their lifetimes. I mean, if you have free Libya, can I just immediately turn around and invade them? Maybe. Maybe. And Milton sees at 3, which I think means it translates to 30%. Yeah. Every 1 point is 10% more for the Conservatives. I mean, we could put in the Socialists. They will definitely allow us to pass a lot of uh, reforms. Their planned economy, protectionism, full citizenship. It's anti-military. Which is unfortunate, but I mean, it allows us to kind of control the economy in a way that I need it to. And also so we can pass reforms to get ourselves out of this, like, political slump we've kind of been in. The conservatives are just not happy, or they're not unhappy enough to change anything in the government. I think that's kind of our problem here. Also, you know what? Don't don't, don't build these men of war. It's, it's not doing anything to actually help us. Okay, let's see. Bohemia now has troops here. You got us. We've legalized trade unions. I guess they can just... Well, they just pass things on their own. 4% of the upper house says yes. I don't remember what the ratio is for the socialist. We're now a constitutional convention. Political, we're now appointed. So yeah, they're just changing stuff here automatically. Which I think is okay.